Today, we're going to be reading one of my favourite books, Mungo and the Picture Book Pirates. You should have a copy of this at home with you so you can read along. But before we get started, I just want to introduce us to some words that we might find a bit tricky as we're reading. If we look at them now, hopefully, we won't get quite so stuck as we're reading the story and it will help our understanding. Well, starting with a really long name for a character, let's have a look at this. Cap. Cap. T A N T A N. Captain. Captain is someone who's in charge of a boat. This captain is called Captain Horatio. F L E T Fleet. Captain Horatio Fleet. You try it. That's right. Captain Horatio Fleet. Another long name we need for our story. Let's start off by chopping this word up. Add. Add. Me. A. O. Row. Add. Me. Row. Admiral. Admiral. An admiral is also someone who's in charge of ships, but maybe lots of ships, a fleet of ships. They're very important. Our admiral in our story is called Admiral Main Brace. Main Brace. Altogether, Admiral Main Brace. You try it. Well done, Admiral Main Brace. We've got a character in our book who sometimes is up to no good. Let's see if we can work out this name. B R N Barn Ackle Ackle Barnacle. Barnacle, b i o, Bill. Barnacle, Bill. You try. Fantastic. S e, C. Sh a n, Shan. Ease, teas, shanties, sea shanties. Sea shanties are songs that pirates and sailors sing when they're at sea. Sea shanties. Mid, mid. Sh it. Ship, m -a -n, man, mid, ship, man, midshipman, midshipman. A midshipman is someone who works on the boat. He's not important like an admiral and a captain, but still very useful. A midshipman. B, uh, b. Zerk, zerk, berserk, berserk means out of control and absolutely wild. There's a berserker bird in our story that just squawks and flaps everywhere. Berserk. G a o. Gal, o e o n, Leon, galleon, galleon. A galleon is a grand type of ship 
with lots of tall sails. I rate pirate, pirate, pirates sail the seas, often up to no good. There are lots of pirates in this book singing their sea shanties. P -l -uck -e. P -luck -e. Plucky. Plucky means brave and courageous. Plucky. N or a. Nora. Nora. This is the name of a character in a book. Capital letter for the name. Nora. Last one, the star of our book in the title, M -a -n -go. Mungo. He's the star character. You can see a picture of him here. I wonder who this guy is. Let's start reading. Mungo and the Picture Book Pirates. This is written and illustrated by Timothy Knapman and Adam Stower. If you have a copy of this book along at home, please read along. Point to the words as we're reading. This is Mungo. His favourite book is called The Seafaring Adventures of Captain Horatio Fleet. I think that's a poster with Horatio Fleet on. Last thing, every night he makes his mum read to him. Twice if he's lucky. Five times if she's not. And this is how the story goes. Once upon a time, Admiral Mainbrace and his plucky cabin girl, Nora, set sail in their fine Spanish galleon. They had only been at sea for two days when they were attacked by Barnacle Bill, the terror of the high seas, and his dreaded purple berserker bird. Barnacle Bill's crew of scurvy pirates fell upon the Admiral's galleon in a flashing of cutlasses. Cutlasses are these long swords here, often curved, and they look very dangerous. They plundered its treasure and looted its booty. But most frightening by far, they sang she sea shanties so foul that anyone who heard them begged to walk the plank. It would have all ended badly for Admiral Mainbrace and Nora if their cries of help hadn't been heard by Captain Horatio Fleet, the bravest ship's captain of them all. Daring Captain Fleet, who defeated the dreaded octopus of Bogner. Dashing Captain Fleet, who juggled with sharks and electric eels. Dazzling Captain Feet, who ate piranha fish fingers and chips for his tea. He swung to the rescue at once. Not so fast, you scurvy dogs, cried Captain Fleet as he unplundered the treasure and deluted the booty. He then tied the villain's throat in an expert display of knots so that they could never sing sea shanties again. Hooray! cried the Admiral. We're saved! And Captain Fleet married that plucky cabin girl, Nora. Together they set sail for the sinking sun and all the adventures that wait in the waters off the coast of tomorrow. The end.
Again, mummy, again, read it again, said Mungo. Absolutely not, said mum. I am too tired. Because on this particular night, she'd accidentally read the book six times and not five. I'll leave the light on if you like, so you can look at it on your own. And so Mungo did. But this time it was different. Oh, it was still the tale of how Admiral Mainbrace and Nora were attacked by Barnacle Bill. But this time their cries for help weren't heard by Captain Fleet, the bravest ship's captain of them all. Because Captain Fleet was so worn out after going through the story six times in one night that he decided to take a holiday in Mungo's At the Seaside book. Mum! shouted Mungo. Ah ha! cried Barnacle Bill. Now's my chance. This time I'm going to marry that Nora, the plucky cabin girl. Oh no, if this went on much longer, it wouldn't be Mungo's favourite book anymore. If you like this book so much, suggested Captain Fleet, why don't you do something? Me? gulped Mungo. I can't do anything. Untie the girl, me hearties, grinned Barnacle Bill, and let the wedding begin. Oh, Christopher Columbus, cried Mungo. Mungo shut his eyes, held his nose, and jumped right into his favourite book. Head over heels, he tumbled and fell plonk on the plank that boinged like a diving board, sending him somersaulting high above the ship and down till he landed on Barnacle Bill and squished him splat, just like that, flat as his hat. Hooray, cried the Admiral. We're saved. But he spoke too soon. The dastardly pirates were limping towards them, sharpening their swords and clearing their throats. Oh no, yelped Mungo. Not the sea shanties. But he wasn't deterred, for behind him he heard the streaks and squeaks of the purple berserker bird. Ah cried Mungo. Now's my chance. And he grabbed the bird so it squawked and berserked around the deck in a flurry of feathers. The bird sent the pirates flailing and falling and splashing and sprawling. Help! Help! They gargled and glugged. Don't you know pirates can't swim? So Mungo and Nora fished the pirates out of the sea and pegged them up on the rigging to dry. The Admiral shook Mungo's hand. Nora kissed him. And Captain Fleet came back from his holiday. As the captain got ready to take his place back in the book, he pinned a medal on Mungo's pyjamas. You see what you can do when you try, he said, Mr Midshipman Mungo. When Mungo's mum came back to turn off the light, Mungo was fast asleep and clutching his medal, dreaming of pirates and purple berserker birds and all the adventures that wait in the waters off the coast of tomorrow. The end. That was Mungo and the picture book pirates. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do.